Welcome to our YouTube channel Engineer Strategy Tutor. Today we are going to learn the minimum and maximum mode of 8086 microprocessor. This microprocessor works mainly in two modes that is minimum and maximum. In the previous video you can search or you can visit and see there is a pin name 33 okay. In the pin 33 the minimum and maximum modes operate only okay pin number 33 you can go and see that is minimum and maximum mode so before starting this video i want to give a small tips or tricks that you can use in everywhere okay we have two pins okay two types of pin that is active low and second one is active high okay active low means some pin name suppose a pin is there okay in that if a bar is there okay a bar okay then the value will be zero means only its walk or only its give some value if its value is zero okay means this pin only going to work this a pin only going to work when its value is zero because bar is there come to the high pin active high pin suppose a pin name is b if there is no bar means it's working one computer only know binary that is zero and one so when there is one means actively high pin there is no bar when there is zero means it is actively low pin and it have bar so coming toward our topic that in maximum and minimum modes Whenever the value will be, okay, whenever the value will be zero, means it's connected to ground, okay, just come here, suppose its value is zero, means this pin is enabled and this is actively low pin, okay, and what is that? This is minimum and this is maximum, so it's work in maximum condition, this is work in maximum condition. If this value is 1 okay 1 means only simple will work no bar will be involved then this first value is minimum so we can see it is minimum one value is there it is connected to VCC and it's working minimum mode in the pin sequence of 8086 you can go to previous video and also see that from pin number 31 to 24 okay all pin have to work okay the right side is going to work in maximum mode and the left side is going to work in minimum mode so let's see one by one what this pin doing okay what the function of that this all pin okay so starting from maximum mode the first pin 31 is hold that is hold okay it help us to hold the address okay or hold the data suppose we have a folder name bollywood movie bollywood movie okay it is in work means some data is transmitting inside it Suppose we are copying the data, some, suppose we are moving all the data from it, means it is involved in some work. So the hold pin will hold this and it acknowledge, means it is in work. Who is going to acknowledge? This HLD, hold acknowledge. And when it is in hold, then hold pin will come to picture. After that 29th number pin in maximum mode is our right. Okay, write it. Write the data from memory. Just write the data. Okay, and it is actively low pin. So, when the value, when it is going to work, just tell me. When the value is zero, then only this right pin is going to work. After that, twenty-eight number pin is memory input output. Okay. This will tell. From where we are taking the data, either from memory, some memory involved in our processor, from memory we are taking or from external peripheral, 
just like pen drive keyboard from where we are taking the technologies okay after that data transmit and receive okay when this pin okay when value will be won means actively high then who is going to work that data transmit means we know that transmitting is going on when value will be zero okay this read means reading is receiving sorry receiving is going on got it after that data enabled okay it will tell which data is enabled right now ALE, okay. Address latch enable, okay. When the value will be zero, means address is passing. When value is one, data is taking, okay. Data taking. After that, interrupt acknowledgement. We have seen in previous video that interrupt means some interrupt came for acknowledging that. this 24 number pin come to picture in maximum mode for interrupt acknowledging that all about our maximum mode coming towards the minimum mode of 8086 we can see qs1 and qs0 that is 24 number pin and 25 number pin so we will see one table that is binary table will first take 20 21 0101 okay if the value of qs0 and qs1 is 0 0 then no operation is going on means it is in idle state it is in simple no work is going on no operation is performing here if value is 0 or 1 qs0 and qs1 is 1 then it will take one byte okay suppose we have a by this okay we have three segments okay it will take one byte okay from here first second third it will take only one when value is 0 1 okay when value is 1 0 means whole stack is empty whole stack is empty no data is present what it if the value of both is 1 and 1 then one subsequent data it will take one by one first it will take first data after that this will data will come after that third data will come it is perform one by one that's okay after that we will look s0 s1 s2 from the binary table again firstly 40 will take 41001100110101010101 okay that's only if the both three value is zero that is interrupt acknowledgement means what the work is that interrupt acknowledgement is there if 201 means reading from input device input output device okay reading the data from input output device if 010 writing the data from input output device if 011 in halt condition it is sitting okay no work is performing means just like statue it is not going to perform any action 100 code access accessing the code means from memory or any other device it is accessing the code 101 it writing from the memory just like we have seen the reading from input output just now reading from memory 110 that is writing from the memory reading from memory writing from memory triple one in idle condition okay it not going to work why it is not going to work because s2 s1 s0 all are actively low pin so only work this on zero when value will be zero then it is going to work if value will be one then it will going to not going to perform any action lock just now i told you that some memory is in use okay that is not allowed to used by other so we will lock this memory okay suppose we are deleting some data and the same time we want to copy that is not possible because we have already started the deleting process so we can't copy from there so we will lock what happening inside the deleting function is locked so it is not 
going to perform any action on it after that request and grant okay that is actively low pin and second is actively high pin the 31 and 30 not okay 30 this both pin are request and grant the signal okay it will request and grant the signal okay this request and grant first one is having more priority more priority okay than this okay that's all about minimum and maximum modes of microprocessor 8086 thanks for watching this video please like share and subscribe our channel